So a couple of days ago, the developer of the Ultimate Dashboard Pro and the Page Builder Framework, David, reached out to me and asked me if I'd take a look at his latest plugin. Well, obviously, I'm a little bit intrigued to see what it does. Well, this is a nice, simple way I'm going to take that ugly looking taskbar you have at the top of a normal WordPress setup, like you can see on screen right now, and replace it with something just a little bit more clean, a little bit more intuitive, and a great way of being able to use, let your front end users, your clients, whatever, have a nice, simple, clean way of jumping in the dashboard and doing a lot of those simple tasks. In today's video, I'm going to take you through and show you how you can use this plugin and basically what it does. Well, this is a sponsored video. David has reached out to me and asked me when I take a look at this. But as always, I'm not giving you a review. I'm just going to show you how this plugin works. And it's entirely up to you if you think it's something that you want to utilize in your workflow. Now, I've gone ahead and already installed WP Swift Control Pro. Like I say, this is the Pro version. There is a free version available, which doesn't have all the functionality that you can see in the Pro version. But if you'd like to check this out before purchasing or just to see what it does, then download yourself a copy of that and take it for a spin. Okay, so in the pro version, this is basically what we have to work with. And let me first of all just show you what we're going to get. First thing I'm going to do is say remove the admin bar from the front end. That just means we're going to get rid of this ugly bar at the top of the screen. So we're going to set that to be removed. We're also going to use the option that says remove data on and install. Now, anybody that knows me that's watched my recent videos on anything to do with plugins and things for WordPress, you'll know how much I think this is a vital thing to include in every single plugin that's output, whether it's a free version or a paid version. You've also got Don't Load the Font Awesome 5. So this is something that if your theme or the page builder like uh, Elementor, for example, is already loading Font Awesome 5, you can just disable that inside this plugin because it's already being loaded. So you can leave that option clicked or unclicked depending upon your specific circumstances. So I'm going to hit Save Changes on this. We're going to jump back over to that page. We're going to refresh this now. We're going to see the differences. So we'll find that that ugly bar at the top has now gone to be replaced by this little icon on the left hand side. If we click on this icon, you can see we get a range of options will pop out. And this is what the plugin is doing. So WP Swift Control Pro is just giving us a nice clean way of accessing various different features inside the dashboard of WordPress. But we're not limited to doing that. We can, if we want to, use any kind of link we want. So we may have a support site that we want to off link to. So if someone has a problem, they can just click on that and go straight over to that support site. And we'll take a look at putting custom links in in a little bit. But as you can see, currently we have dashboard, we have edit page, and we have customize. The dashboard, as its name suggests, will take you through to the dashboard of WordPress. The edit page, however, works a little differently. There's some really nice functionality built into this. What it does is, even though it says edit page, if we were looking at a post or we were looking at something else, like a custom post type, for example, this link, this particular function will change depending upon what the actual page, the post, whatever it is on screen at this given point. So that means that when you click this, you'll go straight over to the editor for that particular type of content. The other added bonus of this is if you were using a page builder like Elementor or Divi, Clicking on this will take you straight into that editor, that page editor, bypassing the need to go into WordPress, into the dashboard, into that particular post page, whatever, and then manually opening up the page builder of choice. So it's nice to see that functionality built straight into this, and you don't have to do anything at all other than just choose to have this option available as part of WP Swift Control Pro. So let me just jump back over to the dashboard and show you what I mean. So we come in, you'll see we currently have those three options, the dashboard, the edit, in parenthesis, we have post type, but like I say, that will depend and change whatever you've got open at any particular point. This will change its functionality and customize. Now we can reorder these if we want to. So you can just drag and drop those to wherever you want to in the stacking order, and you can see it automatically updates in real time. If we want to, we can edit these. We can click on edit and then we can do three different things. We can change the icon to something else. You can see we can just filter this through for any other icon we want. We can change the name of it to something that may be a little bit more in keeping with what you're doing, or you may have a specific language you're working with or different terminology. You can drop that directly inside here. And finally, you have the new tab option. By clicking on that will mean that it will keep the original page or post open in its own tab. 
and we'll open up a new tab then where we can go in and edit or jump over to do whatever we're actually doing with this specific function. So let's just do that. Let's say we want to use the new tab and we'll hit save. So we've now set that up to exactly what we want. We can also come down underneath and we can change this, the color scheme. So currently the blue doesn't stand out too well on the design that we've chosen, which is a predominantly blue site. So let's just change the color to something a little bit more in keeping. Let's choose this orange color. You can change the icon color, the accent color, background hover and icon color as well. So we can change all those. We'll hit save changes and we'll just come back over to our page and we'll hit refresh again. And you'll see now once that refreshes, we've now got the icon and the little pop out on the left hand side is now orange and stands out off the page a little better. If we come down and we click on the dashboard, that'll open up a new tab and take us directly into the dashboard. Let's come back out of that. Let's just choose this edit page. Now, because we are using a page and we are using a page builder, in this example, Elementor, if we click on edit page, that will take us straight over and load up Elementor and allow us to edit that page without, like I say, the toing and froing of open this up manually by just going straight into this particular page. And then you have to go through the process of opening this up. Might seem like just a little sort of benefit, but it is one of those things that I think if you're working with this particular function and this plugin, it just saves time and any little bit of time saving is a good thing in my opinion. So that's the basic functions kind of covered. These are the default options. But if you look on the right hand side, we have available widgets and we also have the advanced option. Now, currently the available widgets is going to show us various different things that are part of a normal WordPress install. The other thing to consider is that if you are using a multi-site setup, this will also work with it. I'm not going to cover that in this video and I'd recommend taking a look at the WP Swift Control Pro website where it gives you more details on the multi-site side of things. But just if you're wondering, can you use it with the multi-site setup? Yes, you can. Now, so what we can do is we can simply grab any of these options and drag and drop those into our little icon bar for the left-hand side of our design. And we can go through and we can do all the different things and we can fine tune by editing these. We can change the icon to anything, the title of that particular widget, and we can open it in a new tab. If we want to, we can also click the plus option underneath. And we'll come back to that in a moment because I want to show you the advanced option first of all. Now, with this particular site that we've got open, this has advanced custom fields installed, which means that if we come over to advanced and click on there, you'll see that we now have new vehicle. This is because I've got a custom post type for adding new vehicles. So if you look on the left hand side, you can see we've got vehicles as an option. So if I drag that in and position that where I want in the stacking order and we'll come in and click on edit. And you can see new tab is set up because we've been playing around with this. Hit save on there. Now, if we come out of this and save changes, come back to the front end of our site and refresh the page, we'll find that now we have the extra options by clicking and you can see we've got new page and also the new vehicle option. So if I click on new vehicle, that'll click and that'll take us straight into our custom post type and I can start editing our custom post. So it's very easy. And it's great that it works with the plugins that we may want to use to create more complex, more comprehensive WordPress websites. So I love the fact that that's included in this particular plugin. So let's close that back down, come back out of this, come back into the Swift Control Pro section. And we've got this plus icon at the bottom. Now what that allows us to do is create custom links to use inside this particular widget. So we're gonna click on the plus and you can see this opens up a very similar looking section. But what we can do is we can choose, first of all, the icon we want. So let's just say we want this to be help. So we'll just do a, a mail, a letter or something. And we'll click on the icon for that. And we'll just type in support. And then what you can do is you can drop in the URL that you want to use. So I'll just drop in a test URL for my site, say new tab and hit save. And now when we come back over and refresh our page, we'll have our help section in there, which allows us to go through to any kind of link we want anyway, either on site or off site. So if I come down now and click on support, it takes us over, opens up our new tab, opens up our website and takes us to any link that we want. So by utilizing this, any section you've got inside your dashboard, you could create custom links directly through to that. Now, obviously, you'd have to be a logged in user with access rights to that particular function to be able to utilize it. If not, you get the login section for WordPress and so on. So all those things are in place. But hopefully what you can see is that even though this is a very simplistic type of plugin, what it does is 
opens up the opportunity to create a much more streamlined and much more professional way of allowing your front end users to access those key features that they might may want on their website when they need it without having to just log into the dashboard and go through all those boring kind of things and finding what they want. You've got a nice, simple, clean way of doing that directly on the front end of your website without that ugly bar at the top of the screen. And in a nutshell, that basically is what WP Swift Control does. It gives you the ability to create these kinds of setups very, very quickly and easily. Now, at the time of release, there's a special launch discount running. You can get a lifetime deal, which means you get lifetime access to this plugin support updates for unlimited websites. So if you think this is something you could see yourself using with your clients or with projects you want to work on, grab yourself that deal. You can obviously try out the free version as well, which has a lot of really cool features built into it. So it's worth testing out just to find out if this is something you think is going to work for you. Or if you want to take advantage of the normal annual payment, you can do that. And again, that gives you support and updates for 12 months and unlimited websites. So what do you think of this particular plugin? Is this something you could see yourself using, especially if you're offloading sites to clients and you'd like to give them a nice, simple, clean, streamlined way of accessing some of those key things as part of their website? Let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to get your feedback on this and everything else I've covered in this video. As always, all the applicable links are in the description below. If you want to grab any of these offers, you can use those links to do that. These aren't affiliate links, so I get nothing from this. But if you think it's any good to you, grab yourself a good deal. As always, my name is Paul C. This has been WP Tuts. And until next time, take care.